Going to the beach is an absolutely gorgeous thing to do, but there are some dangers there that you need to be aware of. Some of them could cause you injury and some of them are absolutely deadly to both you and your dog. In this video, we're gonna find out what those things are so you can avoid them. My name's Nikhil and welcome to Canine Care Obedience Training. Let's go for a walk. Now the first thing to be aware of down at the beach is the sun and how hot it is. I'm wearing my big hat today to keep the sun off my face and I've got no shoes on so I know how hot the sand is so it's okay for shanty over there. All right, now the other thing is if your dog has got very light pigment in their skin, as in they have a very white nose, you might want to use sunscreen on their nose and their tips to prevent them getting sunburnt because dogs get sunburnt just like we do. One of the most clear and present dangers at the beach actually comes from other dogs. Lots of people take lots of dogs to the beach, but the only problem is not all of those dogs should be at the beach. Just a few weeks ago, a young lady on the local beach had both her puppies attacked by two staffies. Now, the thing about this is that the lady with the two staffies who refused to give her name um, actually had both her dogs on lead. And the poor lady whose dogs were attacked were off lead who went up to say hello. Now, they were quite badly injured in that attack, but here's the thing. The lady with the staffies had her dog on lead. So in terms of how the dog act worked, she's actually in the right because the other lady's dogs were off lead. But if her dogs do things like that, what on earth is she doing at the beach anyway? So be really careful. I've come down to the beach, middle of the morning, not too hot, and it's pretty quiet. So I don't have to worry about other people's dogs. And Shanti and I can just have some fun. There aren't that many dogs that get attacked by sharks, but it does happen. Now you don't just get sharks in the ocean, you also get them in the river. Just last year, a man that used to swim regularly up and down here every morning was attacked by a bull shark. He sustained significant injuries, but he managed to survive. So the moral of the story is here that there are sharks around. You won't see them, but they're there. Play in the shallows, don't throw your ball out miles for your dog to go and get because they just might become shark fodder. Another thing to be aware of down at the beach are sea hares. Sea hares look like this. They're a purple jellyfish that washes up on the beach. Now the only problem is that if your dog maybe has a lick of one of these things, the toxin in the slime on the outside of the jellyfish can kill your dog in two hours. Two hours. Now, someone's dog died just up the beach here a couple of years ago, just by licking the sea hare. They couldn't get them to the vet quick enough. It was a very sad situation. So be aware of sea hares. One of the hazards at the beach that you might not see are submerged rocks. They can be submerged in the sand like they are here or submerged out there under the water. So if you're throwing a ball out, be very mindful that it's got a sandy bottom. If you see rocks around, your dog could hurt themselves seriously by crashing into those rocks. So be careful. In Western Australia specifically, we get a snake called a dugite. Now you will see them down on the beach and they're highly visible if you can see them there. However, they predominantly live in this area up here, the dunes. Now when dogs go running through there, there are lots of snakes and they often don't get the opportunity to move away from your dog before it comes across them and hence they'll get bitten. Now just a couple of weeks ago, very sad to say, one of my clients lost their dog Pepper to a dugite in these very dunes. So be very careful around snakes. Blue bottles of jellyfish, they're actually a colony of four different creatures that live together. They're blue and they have long tentacles that come down. Now these can be quite attractive things for children to pick up on the beach when they get washed on shore. But beware, their sting is really painful. I've got stung by a jellyfish a couple of times across my body, across my face. I actually walked on one recently and my foot was sore for two weeks. So be really careful around blue bottles. They can get washed up on the beach during the winter 
they're a real hazard for your dog because they can get stung on their paw pads and get a really nasty injury. And if you've got a dog like a lab who likes to pick everything up in his mouth, they can get really nasty injuries to their gums through the stings. Now, if you do get stung by a jellyfish, rinse it in salt water, don't rub sand in it, and then put vinegar on it to neutralize the sting. And if you have ongoing symptoms, go see your doctor. Okay, let's keep going. What do you want? She always loves having fun. Something else to consider are dangers like dead fish that are found on the beach, fish with fish hooks in them, and also blowfish and pupperfish. Now these are highly toxic to dogs. If they eat them, they can die very quickly. Now they can wash up on the beach like this. Fishermen often just leave them on the shore because they're a scavenger and they affect their fish catching rate or something, I think. And you'll often find them down by the river, particularly on the foreshore where people are fishing. So, blowfish. Dog eats one of those, straight to the vet. I hope you found this video useful, guys. If you did, leave me a comment, please like, please subscribe. See you in the next video. See ya.